Now, well, somebody's on the line to speak to us. It's this guy, Ricky Gervis. Uh, he's already been on the radio this morning on Jonathan Ross. You're he so angry, aren't you? What? Just because he won the BAFTA and you didn't. You're I'm, angry. I'm angry for you. I know. You dummy. Angry for me. I'm angry for me. Let's get this guy on. Get this guy on the air. Hello, Hello Ricky. It's not about awards. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. People always no, say that that win a, awards. In a, in a, I've always thought of, like, particularly Nick, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, as a winner. Shut up! Carl. Carl I've told Carl we're all winners. <laughs> Before, uh, it's not. It's the turning up. It's just the being there that that counts. Uh, it's the it's the hanging around and then not winning. Yeah, that's fun. I just <laughs> got I got <laughs> munted on red wine and then punched down in Titchmarsh. It was a terrible night. I bought a ten minute suit for the Baftas, didn't I? Yeah, it dissolved. Suit three hundred quid. <laughs> it was only on for ten minutes. <laughs> you and look was... great. You, you look. You both look great at the uh, at the Baftas. Thanks, buddy. And you. The Oscars next, isn't it? The Oscars next. Yeah, yeah. Because we're making a film. Touch yeah, wood. What are you doing? I'm not, but the Oscar <laughs> did give me a call and, and said, well, just put anything in. No, Oscar gave you a call. Yeah. Edgar yeah. Wright's brother. I, I actually am um, called in for the uh, brisket competition. How do I win a brisket? You're going to have to stay on the line and find out about that, <laughs> RG. <laughs> it, is, it, is it a real brisket? It's not just some sort of reconstituted sort of spam fritter. No, it's not. No way. It's not faux brisket. Is it okay? We don't right. deal in faux meats here. Didn't okay. we? We, we came mean? up with an idea uh, for on. a faux meat. Uh, yes, we did. Son of Spam. No, there was one called Facon. Facon, which is Faken, like fake bacon. Dude. And, um, what was the other one? Bork. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, it's like an, an, an amino in ras uh, in rast. enriched, sliceable meat product. Lump. It's like a protein gel that you slice. It's called Bork. Last time I met, um, your friend Nick Frost, we were yeah. in a doctor's waiting room. I was going for a nasty chaffing at the back of the legs. Yeah. And he was there with testicular mice. <laughs> Running about inside the... The s yeah. sack, as the French say. Yeah, and His uh, bag. Uh, uh, they actually the doctors came in. They said, "I'm not, I'm not really a vet." And uh, they got all, they got some vets in the people and some students. There was loads of students just watching it, and it was the weirdest I've ever seen. Do you know how they got them out in the end? Go on. Cheese strings. Yeah, we'll talk to Carl about that because I, I told <laughs> Carl that my friend Robin Ince, when he had worms, the doctor told his mother to hold little bits of cheese and bacon near his anus yep. to bring the worms out. Carl believed it. And the reason he believed it, <laughs> he reckons there's a worm in South America yeah. that it gets into your skin somehow, I don't know, via osmosis or something. Mm -hmm. Don't and say osmosis. Out, they wrap bacon around your head. It, and I said, what do you mean? He went, it's the thinnest part of your body. I went, how can the head, <laughs> how can the brain case be the thinnest part of your body? He went, well, it is, it is. And they come up there. Oh, no, so the worm is in the stomach or the foot and it, and it smells the bacon. And he went, <laughs> everyone likes the smell of bacon. It's a smelly meat. Yeah. I, I'm just going to refer to my head as a brain case from now on, because I think that's really nice. Yeah, it was a bit weird, the, wasn't the it? The top of the head is as thin as bacon foil. True. <laughs> I've heard, though, that's a story. It was, I was, when I was at school in maths, Susan Hall told me that there was a man who had a tape well, room. Well, she's a liar, anyway. Listen, don't knock Sue. And Go she had, he put a pie in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a put, snake fell out and of And then opened his mouth and a snake oh, fell out of his gob. Oh, but, no. And then ate the pie. And then went back in, yeah. and then, then and then he woke up, and a load of spiders came out of his face, and they were banging his head on the roof of the car. Yeah. That is, <laughs> no, that is actually true, right? And um, if the phone didn't ring at four, <laughs> then he's lost his money. And as he jumped off the roof, as he went past the window, his phone was ringing. His mum came in, and he'd been wanking, and she got <laughs> And it was a giant water rat. Look, that I, is, that's, that is all true. I'm, I'm a fan of these urban myths. Right? Yeah. And. This is something that was in the paper. I don't know if it's an urban myth oh, or a true one. No, go on, say right. it. Oh, I'm there now. No. Come on, Carl. Don't <sighs> let me down. You're allowed to talk. I'm here. Go on, Carl. Right. Do it. Do your stuff. No, Tell this, this, this one. Shh, right, this woman, <laughs> this woman, um, she wanted to get a nice tan before she went on holiday. Yeah, yeah. did you do? Right. Go on. Yeah, so go on. she, uh... She put, she, there was a lobster. No, right. <laughs> so she went to, um, like a suntan shop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And said, uh, Can I, have a tongue, please? I, I wanna, on. I wanna, like, get brown for me holiday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. keep talking. So, so the woman said, well, yeah, that's all right. Finish up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you can yeah. only do 30 minutes when you're going on holiday. And she said, well, I'm going tomorrow. I wanna get a nice tan. So she said, sure. Now, the rule is, you can only do 30 minutes. But so she's the thought, one where they put her on a Breville toaster. No. <laughs> right? So that's she, a good one. So she has a 30 minutes in that one. Go on. Yeah. Then she goes to, like, Tanzaros or whatever. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, next another one. one. And she, goes, the she goes there and has 30 minutes, goes to the next one, 30 minutes. Yeah. Anyway, so she's on holiday. Yeah. Right? And, uh, she's got a nice tan. Uh huh. But she thinks, God, I'm starting to stink a bit. Yeah. Right? So she gets back off holiday and she goes to the doctors and says, Look, you know, 
Uh, went on holiday, body started Sorry, to smell. You, you don't go to the doctor because you stink? No, you but do. she couldn't work it out. She, she, like, had a bath and stuff, and, right. it, and she still stunk. And yeah. She work <laughs> <it out>. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 he says, uh, well, tell me what you've been doing. What's, what This is gone? an urban novel. What's, what's... <laughs> Gervais loved it. He loved that one. Go. Look, uh, on it, Simon, look, two hours is a lot to fill with dribble. Let Carl talk as long as you want, and then play Radiohead. And I'll tell you what, it flies by. <laughs> so anyway, Go on, so the doctor says, well, tell me what you've been up to. And she said, well, what I did was, before I went on holiday, I did, like, about nine hours on some beds. Yeah. Right. And he said, oh, God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Do that bit again. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, God. Yeah. So, so anyway, it only turned out that the smell was her insides rotting because what? she. What? She... <laughs> <laughs> you're a maniac! Oh, you're a maniac! Look, 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 look yourself up. Turn yourself in. We're putting him away. You know when a doctor turns to you and says, "Oh God, it's bad." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know it, it was her insides <laughs> rotting. But, what? Because they cooked. Like the because the doctor examined her, said, thought her insides are rotting, and said, "What have you been doing?" <laughs> Teacher, go, I mean, it's <laughs> you're a, Carl. Uh, oh, that's amazing. that was good though. Come on, your insides rotting. Her insides are rotting. Have you told her about your um auntie? What's your auntie's name? Is farted for five minutes and went to the doctor. <laughs> 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 Aren't we saying that? You're allowed that? to tell that one. You're allowed to tell that one. Well, I better go now, hadn't I? Because right. it's, 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 it's Did you meet just one more thing? Did you meet Bowie? Yeah. How is he? Yeah, he's very, he's very nice. Did he say hello, Rick? He went. <laughs> Uh, he said, hello, Ricky. I love the office. I went, oh, I don't go on about it, for Christ's sake, David. <laughs> no. Get lost. I could listen or not listen to Ricky Gervais's voice all now. day long. Shut up. Uh, bye, mate. Play me records. Up yours. Here's Coldplay.